belong here, at the Ultimate Academy. Welcome back to Rat Attack, guys. <laughs> mm. I do like our unofficial intros quite a bit, though. I do, too, but if they're all unofficial, then it's just... I can see it, it gets way. old either way, you know? It has to be a surprise when it's an unofficial intro, you know? But do they always want the official intro? No, that's why I'm saying you need a mix. That's where we should start the episode. With philosophical conversation. Oh my god, I think they've had enough <laughs> for the conversations for the last five days. See, you know what? I was about to say, let's not start it like that and wait for you to do a real one, but I liked your reaction there, so I think that was our intro. I think this is now the real intro. Welcome back to Red Attack, everybody! Oh my god! Hi! Huh? I said, said hi. hi. Oh, hi. Maki! <laughs> Maki! Maki! Uh, see you tomorrow, Maki! No, you, say, you gotta say Maki! Maki! See you tomorrow, Maki! She didn't reply and kept walking! All right. Mocking! Alright, then! <laughs> I'm still... <laughs> what is that? Is that like a Gilbert Gottfried voice? It does... Man, rest in peace, man. I didn't even know who that guy was until you made me put a clip of him in a video. And then I was like, oh, that guy seems cool. But you've recognized his voice, right? Yeah. Have you ever seen the video... Okay. Really quick, and then I we'll, won't rant. Okay. I don't even know if you can put it on screen because it's so dirty. But Max Mofo and Anything for Views, they have a like podcast tomorrow where they drink beer, or podcast together where they drink beer and stuff, and they paid that guy, I forgot his name. Gilbert Godfrey. Gilbert Godfrey to do like this funny, funny like thing. Like he says like the most like outlandish things in his voice. It's so funny. You can't put it in the video though, because it's pretty dirty. But look it up. What was the point of you saying all that? <laughs> because I find it amusing, and I, well, I saw this thing the other day. It was so funny. Was I like, oh my god, I just love it. He did this thing, and I can't really explain it. I'd, I'd have to put the video on screen, but I can't. I can't put the video on screen. <laughs> I. You know what? I found something I thought was funny. I talked about it. I shared it with you guys, and now you're ridiculing me. How could you? Yeah, no, they're not. You are. <laughs> they didn't do nothing. They're probably just like, oh, that's funny. I'll open a new tab and go check it out. And meanwhile, they're looking for it in the other tab and hearing you be like, how stupid was that? You're stupid, Ethan. I, I just know if it were me, I'd be like... I am not looking that up. Well, well we what, what do you want them to look up? How about you start with that? Gilbert Gottfried, Cold Ones. Leave a link in the description. Cold Ones, Gilbert Gottfried, Cold Ones. Look that up and you'll find okay, it. Okay, because otherwise I'd be like, what, what What? video is he talking about? What does he want me to look up? True, true. <laughs> Anyways, let's do plot stuff this episode. Yeah, okay, yeah I actually want to progress the story. I'm still a little worried about Kaido. He seemed off since this morning. I hope that it's nothing serious. Like hmm. the sea. Yeah, that is all sussy what... Oh, what? it's a new angle. Hello, are you Maki? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Welcome back, Maki. He finally came. Oh, what? No, what the Please. heck? This is creepy. I don't like this at all. I can't <laughs> wait for Angie to die. I like Angie. No, she's got to go. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, there's a lot of people I like, but if they're causing trouble for me in any way, shape, or form, even minorly, they got to go. They haven't caused trouble yet, but you know they will. They're about to, like, be like, Maki, you're an assassin. We got to kill you. Right. You know, Maki, it's not okay to walk around at nighttime. Why? Why? I'm not violating any school regulations, am I? <laughs> Monokuma's regulations don't matter. Uh... But Kirumi's crime happened during nighttime, right? But... If no one was allowed to walk around at nighttime, that case wouldn't have happened. Oh my god, guys. Why are these like the Gestapo of Danganronpa? What this is heck? ridiculous. They started a mafia. Yeah. <laughs> That's why the student council is trying to limit all nighttime activity. Well... What, you guys are walking around at nighttime. Yeah. Limit? So basically, you want to take our freedom away. Is that it? My, my. <laughs> You're so odd, Maki. What's more important, freedom or a person's life? I can't, I can't do her little laugh. The nia ha ha ha. Nia ha ha ha. <laughs> what is more important, Gage? Freedom or a person's life? Uh, that is tricky. <laughs> I think in this case, they're being a little too, uh, a little too strict, you know? Because mm -hmm. it's almost like people are going to find ways to kill anyway if they want to kill in this yeah, situation. You I, know? I assume this is going to be a case where it's like their regulations actually got someone killed or something. Right. Or it's like they don't apply the rules to themselves. So then someone's like, I agree with the student council. Then they go kill. Yeah. 
Um, we need to remove all worry and doubt so everyone can have a peaceful life here. Atua! Because that's what Atua says. How divine! That's what Atua says. <laughs> Atua says? Yes! People are afraid of you, Maki, so we'd prefer if you were more careful. Hmm. It's for the peace of the academy. Look at their all like blank expressions too. They're like totally brainwashed. I hate cold people. Um. Okay. So just go <laughs> but that was about to be like a still of them like getting killed. <laughs> I love Monodom Theater. This Terminator? Yeah. What is the point of human life? They're bored as useless babies who can't do anything. Okay, honestly though, he's spitting facts. <laughs> And 70 years later, they're useless old people who can't do anything. 60 years later. Just depends, man, how well you take care of yourself. True. And how well luck favors you. Hairless, <laughs> toothless, wearing diapers, unable to take care of themselves. In the end, it's all so meaningless. I like Monodom. He makes some good points, I think. <laughs> I think you need psychiatric help. <laughs> he does? Both of you. Oh. We chillin. Really? You think this is gonna apply to the murder too? Them not making the morning and night announcements? I don't know. So that's the morning announcement, is it? It was a little creepy. I don't like this at all. Well, I suppose I'll go to the dining hall. Were the other ones less creepy? <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Baykichi. <laughs> Boss Baby 2.0. <laughs> yeah, a little Shuichi. bit. Good morning, Shuichi. Okay. C good morning. Hey. Are you heading to the? Oh, sorry, I bumped the mic. Are you heading to the dining hall? Me. <laughs> Same here. I wanted to punch my mic really hard and be like, oh, "Sorry, I punched my mic full force." Uh oh. <laughs> sorry, guys, I bumped the mic. <laughs> I wonder how loud that really is. Guys, do, what does that sound like? I'm gonna flick mine. Mom, mom, mom. Tell me what that sounded like, guys. <laughs> You're not gonna listen to it while editing? No! Yeah, I'm gonna listen to that, that sounds like it hurt my ears! Yeah, it might hurt. I'm gonna put it on full volume, like I'm gonna slide the decibel thing all the way up. Oh. I'm too hungry to do anything. But now I'm sad. What? With Karumi dead, we can't eat her delicious meals anymore. I'll cook for you, boss baby. <laughs> I'd give anything to taste mom's miso soup again! No. Hey, Kirby's not your mother, though. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, you think I don't know that? <laughs> Idiot! Right. Well, see you later! Should I wear a bandana like that? It's more like a scarf. Should I wear a scarf like that? Is it? Hold on, I wanna look. I love the song, by the way. Yeah, I love the little... Is that like a synth, you think, that's like pitched up a little bit? I don't know, man. People have so many instruments they can use anymore. I've gotten pretty good at identifying them, despite having no I musical talent. can't see it in this picture. I should wear that. That big scarf cloak. cape thing. A cloak cape thing. Oh, yeah, a cloak. I wish cloaks I weren't know. out of fashion. Or ponchos. I wish people could wear whatever they want without feeling judgment. I wish if you walked into Walmart, you just didn't see, like, t-shirts and jeans everywhere, but instead saw, like... What looked like a Halloween party dress up I want to see you know? cowboy outfits. I want to see exactly. ponchos worn by women who aren't 50. I want to see stunt racer uniforms. No, no, I cannot emphasize how much the poncho thing bugs me. Ponchos look so cool, but they're all in like grandmas anymore. Sometimes, sometimes I'll see like a young hip dude just like out in public wearing you know the most crazy thing. And I just think, you know what? I think you look stupid, but I am so appreciative that you, like, come out wearing whatever you want, you know? You know what? We are part of the issue right here. Because we sit here and we say this, but do we make an effort to wear whatever we think would look cool? I just wear whatever's comfy, honestly. And plus, I, I really buying, can't afford I could, fancy I could, stuff. Like, I could buy the clothes I want, but they're expensive. I don't even know how I would dress differently either, you know? I kind of do want to get a poncho and a cowboy hat. Is that cold? Well, I don't care if it's cultural appropriation, but... It looks cool. Anyway. Maki. Maki! Ah, good morning, <laughs> Maki! Every time I see you now, I'm just gonna go, Ethan! Gage! <laughs> Can gonna, like, we do that? At like work, I'm just gonna like be like, oh, Gage! So, so you have like normal people, hey Bob, hey Bill, Ethan! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm game for that. Hey. Hey, you okay? Huh? 
Okay, what do you mean? No. Nope. <laughs> if you don't know, then don't worry about it. No. Well, if you say it like that, it makes me worried. Well... I got stopped by the student council while I was going back to my room last night. They told me I can't walk around during nighttime anymore. Yeah, I saw. What? Why? It's not breaking the rules, is it? What? Was I not there? Yeah, do we not? <laughs> Whatever. I said it's because Kirumi committed her crime during nighttime. <sighs> and then Angie gave her usual Atua says speech. Atua. Well. We shouldn't ignore Angie. Losing our freedom may seem fine for now, but suma, uh, soon enough. What's the point? Well, I'm sure Angie's not interested in anything I have to say. Well, we could always kill, kill her. her. Bye. Bye. That's true. We <laughs> should do something about this. With the student council running things like this, a rift might form in the group. And then we'll go back in a situation we can't go back from. <laughs> we'll be whatever. And resurrecting the dead is going to be a problem as well. Yeah, I don't even know. It's already a problem that they're forming a group within a group. It's okay, like, listen, hold on now. All it says is we can't kill them or the whole trial thing happens, right? Yeah. What if we cut off their arms and legs? Do we have a doctor here to patch them up so they don't bleed out from that? We have an inventor and an assassin. They can figure something out. That's okay. like half of a doctor put together. He Doctors, good with rope. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. We got, okay, the assassin knows how to chop them up. The inventor can make an invention that instantly cauterizes it. And then at that point, you just got to like keep an eye on them. <laughs> yeah, just like throw them a bone every now and then. Exactly. Have little Himiko. Yeah. <laughs> flop it <laughs> around just to torso. <laughs> uh, Ew, no, that's horrible. Good morning, Kyo. Hello. Good morning. Whoa. What? That little hello. Hello. Boy, risen me up. <laughs> Are you going to have breakfast as well? Okay. Yeah, are you coming? Yes. Indeed. I also intend to do some research and organize my lab today. If you are able, can I request your assistance? Hey! Organizing your lab? With all that stuff in that bookcase, must be hard. However... Oh, not at all. That bookcase is a mountain of treasures. I've found things besides the Cage Dog Village documents that detail other seances. But the one I am most interested in is, of course, still the Cage Child. Seance again. That's just because of your kink, isn't it, Kyo? Listen. In any case, I would like to sort my various documents. Well, will you assist me? Uh, okay. Yeah, sure, if I have time. Yes. Excellent. Please drop by at your earliest convenience. Well, then. All right. Mew! Mew! Uh, Mew! Good morning. What was that? The heck's all this morning chatter about? I'm freaking tired. Um... Did you stay up all night with the computer? Because that thing is amazing. The more I research it, the more excited I get. So good. Uh, I, okay. Come on, Mew. <laughs> Why I, are you making me say these lies? I bet it won't let me sleep tonight. At this rate, I might pull all my groin muscles. Are you dry humping it? What are you doing? <laughs> uh, maybe. I don't know if it's dry. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that face before. She's chilling. Chillin' and dry humping computers. Mew, what happened to you? Yeah, everyone's kind of going off the deep end, it seems like. Yeah, a little bit, but I don't really blame them. But I wonder if there's actual, like, reasons for it. The moment I entered the dining hall, I heard an angry shout fill the room. Don't screw around! C quit messing around! Don't just do whatever you want! Huh? Hmm? But I have a to his blessing. Yeah, we have it to his blessing, and I'll throw any degenerate male who won't shut up about it. <laughs> she didn't even say male, you just threw that in there. Oh! Oh. I'm just so used to it. <laughs> like, it's now like a thing, like a muscle memory. If I say degenerate male has to come <laughs> after it, I'm gonna do that like outside of this game now. You're gonna like, someone's gonna like, you're gonna call someone a degenerate and be like, you degenerate male. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I do that someday, and everyone just looks at me like. I, I hope it's Gage. like one of our older lady coworkers you say that to, too. You degenerate male. <laughs> that, that would be so funny. It would. Hmm. I know you claim to be the student council or some such, but this is going too far. Yes. No. As we've said before, this is all to end the killing game and keep the peace and stay here forever, which you guys also seem to want to do. A little bit. Also, didn't this room used to be like really overgrown? Yeah, you're right. I, I, I was kind of thinking that, like, why is it shiny? I guess that's them just fixing the place up. I guess. I wonder if we walk around the halls if we'll notice it's less like grass and stuff, too. I'm gonna look now. 
What? What is going on? Student council has spoken. This decision for everyone's sake. Decision of the student council. What does that mean? Is Kaido upset about it? I don't blame him. Uh, I might if it's stupid, but he's probably right. Actually, I don't understand why everyone's getting so mad. This is so the killing game won't happen and we'll have a peaceful life here. Tenko was literally just saying, I don't want to have a peaceful life here. I want to get out. So now I'm yeah, confused. But she's also Listen the ultimate closely. simp for witch lady. Yeah. We're doing this to eradicate the killing game and bring peace to the school. Whatever. Do you have an off button? <laughs> <laughs> no. You want that too, don't you, Shuichi? I want to date Kaido, I think. <laughs> I would have even said that. <laughs> what? <laughs> the most important thing is peace in the academy. That's what we're working towards. This is for your guys' sake, too, you know. Are you defying the student council? Don't make me throw you, Shuichi. Choke's on you. I want that. I want that. I'm in that. <laughs> Do that, please. Throw me, you two. She into that. Frick your Attila, don't just act on your own without hearing our opinions, mainly mine. I'm I, with I you love there. you. This lady's my spirit animal. Maki! Maki! Go and stop Kaito. Yelling at each other won't get anything done. I don't know, it's kind of fun to watch though. Yeah, it makes a really good episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you do know this is for the Let's Play, right? Reliance on a god is unavoidable, but dependence is problematic. Dependence is a trait of one with a corrupted mind. The only thing we can truly depend on is love. What? Men who say creepy things like that are worse than co-workers who won't stop talking to you. Yep. What was that fight all about? I should hear from Kaido. So Kaido's a progressive. People don't know this, but Gage and I are co-workers, and I don't consider us anything more than that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's news to me! <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. Oh. Ethan! <laughs> Gage! Uh oh, trouble already! Well, I knew this was gonna happen. I'm sure you did. You know everything before it happens. Angie! Angie! Why? Why is everyone so upset? I've already been granted permission by Atua. I wanna know what this is. Is it just like no nighttime stuff? I feel like it's more drastic than um. that. Yeah, they're getting bossy. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they have other rules now. Kaido, what's wrong? What are you fighting about? Why is your face purple? Damn. These guys did something unbelievable. They blocked the manhole that le- Why? Yeah, what? What's the point? The manhole that leads to the underground. Huh? The manhole? Hmm. Going to put heavy rocks on top of manhole so no one can use it anymore. Oh yeah? I've been doing my push-ups. I'll move those <laughs> rocks. <laughs> yeah, whatever. With my magic. I could have made it disappear with my magic, but I decided to let Gonta handle it this time. Whatever, you fraud. I want to kick you in the face. I hate that. Why are they taking I'm, things dude, into their own hands now? I would be so violent in this situation. Oh, oh, oh wait, well, wait, no, hold I, on. I wouldn't, but I'd be mad. <laughs> I'd be mad, too. I'd be like, you can't just start doing things behind everyone else's back, you know? <laughs> it's what Monokuma wants. I know, and that's what sucks about it. That's why you know it's the wrong thing to do. <sighs> yeah. Um, why would you do that? Because... Because the manhole is a reminder of our desire to leave this place. We don't want another tragedy to happen again, like what happened to Kaede. My god, I hate this woman. <laughs> Listen up! You said it, Angie. We need to forget all about that underground tunnel and start fresh. Don't screw around! Dang it, she just does whatever she wants without even asking our opinion. Certainly. It certainly is important to hear everyone's opinion, but if we did, nothing would get done. That is so dictatorial. Wow, you ever think about <laughs> starting a country? Yeah. That's why we just decided to obey the student council president. You guys. If it's Angie, then she'll make the right decision. She can hear it too, after all. Aww. Man, she's a lost cause. Plain chains like her are total rubes when it comes to cults. Thank you. To Mugi. Thank you for your fantastic speech. I was truly moved by it. I hate this. <laughs> when she hugs people, does it like do more than we think it does? I it's she's the ultimate artist. So what could she do to like manipulate you know what? people? I think you're thinking of it way too much. These are people in desperate situations where they're paranoid and distrustful of each other. True. So a nice comforting hug by someone who's nothing but smiles, it's what you could ask for. I guess so. This is why if you're in a situation like this, you need to be paranoid of everybody. 
Stop giving advice. I don't like your advice, but I do like your points. <laughs> I'm like half joking, but also that's obviously what's going on here is manipulation. It feels so. like it. I, I don't know if Angie's like really smart and like purposefully manipulating everyone or if she's just stupid I think and crazy. You always supporting me. Atua smiles on you for your plain and simple service. <laughs> plain? <laughs> Ugh, I don't know. This this makes me mad, honestly. I, I know. I'm it's like, like I'm, guys, getting, I'm getting riled up a little bit. I'll fight you, Angie. I, I could in the love hotel. Does Atua have red eyes and hair as black as night? Like Atua Gonta? Atua has whatever features you desire. A red-eyed, black-haired god. Ah, oh, what a cool god I have watching me. Maki? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. When can I meet him? I want to meet him as soon as possible. Oh, we can Atua arrange it. exists beyond time itself, but I'm certain you will feel his presence very soon. Oh, no. Precious. So cool. Atua's just so cool. Cults like these can be really annoying if you get on their bad side. Kokichi, I hate to say it, but please help us. Can we team up? <laughs> team up. Me and you, let's take this on. Yeah. But, but... Why are you guys so mad over the manhole being covered? The truth is... Is it because you guys want to use it to escape? You still haven't given up on leaving here? Yeah, no dust, stupid. You haven't given up. You haven't given up? Oh, what the heck's wrong with you guys? I see. The student council cannot ignore that. It seems we must tighten our control. I, I, I'm... I, <laughs> yeah, whatever you glorified toaster trash. I Go back know. to the junkyard where you belong. I'm honestly getting here like, guys, how could you be this dumb? I know, I'm getting mad. Titan, are you calling me loose? That yeah. reminds me. We both know you ain't loose. Yeah. You were in the computer room past nighttime yesterday, weren't you, Miyu? What? Eh, so what if I was? By the way. So was Maki. She didn't go back to her room until way past nighttime. Hey. Shuichi, you too, right? Uh, yo, 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 I'll fight you. Uh, okay. Y yeah? Huh? Jeez, this isn't good. If your life is in disarray, your mind and body will be too. Cause Atua says so. Atua is right. We must forbid everyone but the student council from walking around. Oh, that but the, the student, student council. council. Screw you. I hate you. Huh? I hate you. Well, okay, can we join the student council? Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> I accept Atua into my heart. What? Stop it. Well, what? What I do and where I do it is none of your freaking business. No? No? As long as everyone wants to leave, that is not acceptable. However... Why is the student council exempt from your rules? That is blatantly unfair, yes? Uh... Yeah, ha, ha, ha. I'm not worried about the student council. They don't want to leave anymore. That's right. Why would we need to go outside anyway? Here, we have food, clothing, shelter, and wonderful friends. And best of all, Atua. Right? What else do you need? It's not good to be greedy, you know. Everyone in the student council is so divine. Always messing around. Uh, don't be stupid. Are you telling me to just stay here and do nothing? That's enough. Like heck, I will. I haven't even gone to space yet. Fight, That's fight, so kill fight, each other, fight, kill each fight. other. <laughs> yeah, now I want a killing to happen. <laughs> kill Angie. Kill Atua. Are you all fighting? Um, I don't think so. I think that maybe they're not actually fighting. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. And even if they were fighting, it looks like a friendly one. Huh. What are you here for? We're busy right now. You bastards. <laughs> we want you to get even closer with each other. That's wonderful. So we brought this. Oh, God. That's a lot to throw on us all of a sudden. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Man, this got out of control quick. I like it though. I like getting this riled up over this. Yeah. Cuz it, it reaches that point where it starts off really t tame and then all of a sudden things get like weirder and weirder and weirder. Yeah. Oh, a flashback light? Oh my god. I see. It's part of our use the flashback light to restore a new memory and become better friends by taking care about talking about it with each other plan. <laughs> yeah. I've suffered way too many blows to the head to remember a plan name that long. We're Monotaro. He has it the roughest of all of us. He's an augmented mm -hmm. bear. <laughs> ah, let me see that. No, she's going to snap it in half or something. Yeah. Suddenly, Angie grabbed the flashback light from his hands and... 
Wow. I hate you. <laughs> yeah, this girl needs to go. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> she threw it on the ground and stomped on it relentlessly. What? What kind of cult leader is that violent? I mean, all of them, but that's why you don't join a cult. <laughs> <laughs> the student council has decided that we will not use flashback lights anymore. You decided that. What? Why? Because the flashback lights only restore our memories of the outside world. But we don't need those memories anymore. We realize now that we don't belong in the outside world. All right, all right. Kaito, kill Angie, bring uh, Rantaro back, and then we all leave in this place, all right? <laughs> yeah, this this is bad. We belong here, at the Ultimate Academy. Well. Oh, oh no! If you don't use the flashback light, our plan is a bust. But what are we going to do, Monodom? Yeah, what are they going to do now that we did that? <laughs> Uh-oh. No! <laughs> hey, he ran away! Hey, Monodom! Wait! So long, farewell! <laughs> That's lonely. I know! <laughs> Bayonara! Wait! Uh, Angie, what are you doing? Oh, dear. We could have remembered something about the funeral or the ultimate hunt. That's not right! There's no reason to remember all that. We're not returning to the outside world. Right! Yeah, it's pointless now. Also, Gonta, you have not gained any more of my respect through these actions. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, you've gone from, like, you know, maybe a barrel full of sewage to just the entire sewer. <laughs> oh, so. wow. Everyone was like, a, a few people were mad about us hating on Gonta. And but as the story well, goes, I'm, I'm waiting for the good part, guys. You know, you by all means, feel free to. You better have a dang good redemption arc, is all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Always messing around. What? Why you? You've gone way too far. Even if you want to stop the killing game, you're going way too far. Sorry. But you should take that up with Atua. Oh man. Jeez, I don't think you're sorry at all. So do you have a plan for the? You know what? You mean the resurrection ritual? Oh, we have a plan for that. What? What? I knew it. What are they planning? Because. Or you, whatever. Just a necessary precaution. The more friends we have, the more fulfilling our lives will be. Huh? A necessary precaution? Oh, we ain't gonna be friends after tonight, girl. Uh... No. Um, if we get another time limit motive, like the one that got Rentaro killed? Oh, yeah! Shouldn't we have a sacrifice prepared, just in case? Wow. And, and then what? Then they do another one? Like, and another and another and another? It's not going to be you getting sacrificed. I know that. No. <laughs> um, you mean if someone has to die, we should volunteer someone we resurrected? What is it? You're going to resurrect someone just to kill them all over again? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Wow, Angie. You have some cruel plans for someone who wants to stop the killing game. Oh. Life cannot always be all fun and smiles. A Tua miss make difficult, even cruel decisions. But, but... We must submit to it to his will if we're to live a peaceful school life. Yes. And I, why are these guys so on board with it? Like, this goes beyond just, like, normal manipulation at this point. This feels weird, you know? I don't know, I... I, like, I, you know what? They, they would consent to that idea, too, like... I think you would be surprised... Like, it's always, like, a theme you hear in, like, stories in real life. In real cults. Mm -hmm. Literally real cults where it's, like, desperate people in hopeless situations get offered some semblance of, like, positivity and goodness. And they fall to that. Like, literally look up any cult you want and I guarantee you that'll be the case. Yeah. I mean, there's literally that one group that, like, they did, like, a mass suicide by drinking the Kool-Aid. Because, you know, that's where that thing came from. Where it's, like, don't drink the Kool-Aid whenever you're talking about, like, cult talk. What? You've never heard of that? No, what? There was some cult, I forget what it was called, big charismatic leader, like they always have, uh -huh. and I don't know if they were in America. I think, I want to say South America, but I might be totally wrong. Basically, they have their like own secluded compound in the forest, and I'm not going to say specifics, because I said that for that one flight handshake video, and I got all my details wrong. Okay. But I do know... Somehow, some way, they were involved in some illegal stuff. 
And I think police of whatever country, army, whatever, was going to come along and say, hey, this is done. You're arrested. Right. Mm -hmm. And then this cult guy in his village compound convinces everyone to drink this Kool-Aid saying it's going to take you to the next life or you'll be preserved for eternity. Whatever. You couldn't have found a better drink than (laughs) Kool-Aid. It's there was kids a part of the cult is a thing. Oh, so yeah, there's kids. There's people of all walks of life. Wow. And the Kool-Aid, I think it was laced with something that just killed them. I mean, I know it killed them, but I don't know what it was. I think cyanide. So if you're ever, yeah, do you not know that that's where that don't drink the Kool-Aid? I've never heard that. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, It's not as popular anymore, but I used to hear it kind of often. Dang. But yeah, that like, I don't know. I hate that type of thing. It gets me so riled up. So seeing stupid dumb but Angie here. (laughs) I know. And I really like a lot of the characters she's manipulating too. Like, I love Tenko, I love Kibo, Gonta's okay, uh, I love Himiko, Smoogie's, I, I like Smoogie. Honestly, all my favorites are, like, the ones who have not been. <laughs> yeah, right now, <laughs> like, Maki is probably, like, number one for me, just because of her recent redemption arc thing, you know? And I'm excited to see where that goes now with this <laughs> whole event. The biggest thing that's interesting to me is that Kokichi just seems fine with all this. Like, obviously, I'm sure he's not totally okay with being restrained and stuff i think he's really good at hiding what he's really thinking and feeling though Mm, true true i'm sure he has all sorts of his own plans and thoughts and actions you know yeah but to his will is absolute yeah Oh, yeah. I was so caught up in the annoyance that I (laughs) forgot. (laughs) Atua says so, then there's nothing we can do about it. Yeah, it's just like Atua says... What? Are you serious about this? Did you forget that thing's a motive for the killing game? Something's rubbing me weird about Tenko, though. Do you get that at all? I don't think she's totally in this. I I think she joined because Himiko joined, and she's being like, I don't know if this is the right thing to do. I think she was the one person who joined that's not, like... Actually a believer. Yeah. Because just before this, she was saying, like, no, I want to escape. You know what? And also, she's never liked Angie. (laughs) And now she's like, no, I'll take Angie's word for it. Let's give Tenko some credit. She might be a bit of a double agent here. I could see that going direction. I like direction. Tenko a lot, so I'm going to give her some credit no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> Kaido, what's going on with you? You're looking worse and worse. Yup, yup. That motive is of no concern to us, as long as you cast aside your desire to escape. Well, you know. By the way, who are you going to resurrect? What? What kind of stupid question is that? Hmm, after discussing the matter with Atua, the transfer student we will revive is... Cause Atua says so. Rentaro Amami. I actually agree with that, but why? Huh? Now that you say it, I'm like, no, don't revive him. Yeah, <laughs> Rentaro. Because... Well, we simply cannot resurrect convicted murderers such as Kaede and Karumi. Nor criminals like Ryoma, who violated the rule against sharing one's motive video. Wouldn't Ryoma be the best one to revive? You ain't gonna put up a fight if you try and kill him again. True. So. But Rantaro was a little twig. You could take him. As long as they have Gonta yeah. and Tenko. Which leaves Rantaro as the only one who'd be of use to the student council. True. Rantaro was the only one who knew about the ultimate hunt. They're going to bring him back. What the fish? <laughs> you remember how you did his voice? Uh. Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but... Does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? I do want to see more Rentaro. I, he was like one of the cooler ones right off the bat to yeah. me. But you know what the problem was? What? Going into this game like 95% blind, uh, I really didn't recognize most of the characters. I recognized Kokichi because he's yeah, a popular I've seen character. Him everywhere. I think I kind of recognized like Mew and... Uh, Gonta, obviously, yeah. Kibo a little bit, and then Kaito a little bit, but the rest of them I really never really saw before. I had even less I recognized from there. Yeah, but... um, Except that one I saw in that stupid music cover. I, like, especially had no idea who Rantaro was, so I was like, yeah, I don't know if he's going to make it very far. <laughs> yeah. N- no, this is impossible. It's not going to happen. He's dead. Kaito killed him. Oh my, it's already so late. I need to get going now. Prayer time. 
I must pray to Atua and begin our preparations for the ritual. You're right. It's time to pray to handsome Atua. Well, well then, let's go. <laughs> Bye, Onara. All right. Bye, everybody. With Angie leading them, the student council strolled out of the room. And you're going to stroll out of the video because it's <sighs> over. Got him. Sucks to Get be out. you. Leave. If you stay even five more seconds, I'm going to call you a bad word. Ready? I mean, don't. The leave. N-word. Five. Too. He's yeah, gonna I'm going to say the, the N-word in five seconds. <laughs> I don't know how they <laughs> go on with that. Five. Four. Three. Ethan, what do I do? I'm getting nervous. You gotta Two. say it. You've promised at this point. There's no going back. Guys, I promise in one second, I'm going to say the N-word. <laughs> one. Play the outro. Play the outro. <laughs> <laughs>